Hey guys, Vox Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be taking a quick look at fade tracks inside of Matinee. So what this is essentially going to allow us to do is set two va uh, set values for fade. So if you take a quick look at my scene, uh, my Matinee here, you can see at the start it fades from black into uh, what you should actually be seeing in the Matinee. And I can use this to fade between cameras to make the transition a little bit easier on the eye. So if I just go ahead and press play here real quick, you're going to see exactly uh, what you can do with this. So you can see there it faded in, and then at the end of this little camera shot, it's going to fade out, and it's going to fade into the new camera shot, and it just makes the transition a hell of a lot easier on the eye and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today it's very very simple we're just going to be alternating between two values on that track um, one is going to be a full fade and then zero is going to be no fade at all and we just need to set up the timing for that and I'm going to show you exactly how you can go about doing that so go ahead and open up your matinee um, like uh, you can just use the matinee that I've been creating in the past three or so episodes if not you can just create a new one um, but anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this. So in my director group, you can see I've got a fade track here. And you can see I've got these little keyframes. And that's just basically telling Matinee uh, when to change the value from 1 to 0. And it's pretty much just going to fade between those. Um, so if you take a quick look at this uh, keyframe here, you can see it's got a value of 0. If I go to set value. And then the next one has a value of 1. And basically, it's just going to set that fade. It's going to go from fade of 0 to 1 between that time on there. Anyway, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and delete this track now. And we're going to start from scratch. So first things first, to get your fade track, just make sure you're using a director group. And just go to fade track, just right click the director group and add new fade track. Once you've done that, you've got it in there, but you don't have any keyframes. So if you wanted to, uh, to fade from the start, you're going to want to add a new key. Just press enter or press the little button in the top left here. Once you've done that, just go ahead and make another one by pressing enter. And then just dragging it over to the end of your fade. So I want it to fade in uh, from the first three seconds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the initial value from the very start at zero on the timeline here and we're going to set this to zero uh, to one. We want a full fade straight from black. And then over here my value for the end of the fade should be zero and it should fade out just like that. So if I go ahead and press uh, play now, you can see it slowly fades in just like that and it works brilliantly. Um, you can see it may fade in a little bit too slow for you there, so all you gotta do is just simply drag over the keyframe. Now we can make more of these little keyframes for fade if we wanted to. So if you go over to this part of my matinee, you can see that I actually switch cameras. So I wanna set up some keyframes for this. So first things first, let's go ahead and add a new keyframe just before it fades out. We wanna set the value to one once again. Uh, we wanna set the value to zero once again because we don't want it to fade from all the way here to all the way here. We want it just to fade from here to here. It's hard to explain, but once you actually do it, you'll completely understand. So just go ahead and press add key and make sure the value of this is set to zero. Just right click it and go to set value. And then we're gonna wanna create another one. Uh, just press enter and then drag it along however you wanna do it. And I'm gonna try and time this up with the camera uh, switching here and I'm gonna set the value of this to one. I want a full fade between these. If you can't get it bang on, try and get it to uh, be just before. Uh, if you can't, just go ahead and press toggle snap over here and then you can just drag it pretty much precisely here. So let's go, have it, go ahead and have a look. If I drag my little preview thing here and then you can see it starts to fade as the cameras go out. But now we need to fade out again. So all we got to do is just go to the location of the fade out and press add key. Once you've done that, right click it, set value to zero and that will pretty much tell it to end the fade there. So let's go ahead and have a look at exactly what we have created. So if you press play now, you can see it fades in and just before the next camera shot here, it's gonna begin to fade it out and then fade back in again, as simple as that. Um, so yeah, fade tracks are really great for easing the transition from one camera to another. You can even use it to fade in uh, into gameplay if you wanted to. Uh, you would just set the 
the matinee to play on level load and you wouldn't actually set up any cameras um but yeah play around with it i've got a whole bunch of other director tracks i want to show you like um audio master volume slow-mo tracks and a few other stuff anyway thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye